Ooh, a video. Hello, everybody on YouTube. It's uh, Brock from the Brock O'Clock channel, which on YouTube is mostly just me. But on Twitch, it's a couple of us. So uh, me and Josh. So this is Brock. So I'm pretty much the owner of the channel. And uh, welcome to this uh, video where we're going to obviously talk about um, Sonic Adventure a little bit with rumors of a remake on the rise and all that. Uh, I hope if you have seen the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which just came out, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's currently February 18th, so it's been out for a couple days, 2020. And um, uh, just real quick, I'm not doing a review or anything, but I liked it. I liked it enough. I um, thought it was fun, entertaining, and the mid credit sequence got me super hyped. That's all I'm going to say about it, but I did like it. I don't want to make like a whole video on a review or anything like that everybody's gonna be doing that right now what i do want to talk about today is sonic adventure 1 the rumors of a remake of sonic adventure 1 now i know this is not exactly something that is um relevant right now or rather it hasn't been discussed a lot recently we haven't really like had any news or rumors about a sonic adventure 1 remake in a while in fact i would say maybe even as far as like last year when uh uh izuka san so takashi izuka from you know sonic team or in sega or whatever had said that he was interested in doing a sonic adventure remake so i'm not really expecting this video to get a lot of traction but i did want to give my thoughts on um what they should do with the sonic adventure remake should it even happen and if it does what should they change keep the same you know whatever the whole rundown there before I get into that, I, I do want to real quick uh, try to talk about just like what Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 means to me. So if you want to skip this part, uh, I'll leave a, uh, excuse me, a link in the description down below um, because if you're just here to know like what my thoughts on what they should do with the Sonic Adventure remake is, um, I understand that a lot of you are not going to be like care like what I experienced with Sonic Adventure 1. Uh, and two for that matter, but in this case one, uh, during my childhood, I did grow up with it on the Dreamcast and stuff, I'll get into that in a minute, but yeah, if you want to uh, press the link down below and just skip to my thoughts on the remake, if you're really here for the remake stuff, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description, because I know not everybody here cares about like my channel or me or, or whatever, you just want to hear thoughts and new videos and content on a potential Sonic Adventure remake. That being said, basically this video is going to be split into two parts because of that. So let's go ahead and get started with part one. Part two is what I think they should do with the remake. Is it going to happen? Yada yada. Let's do part one here. Uh, what Sonic Adventure means to me. Um, <laughs> Sonic Adventure was... Uh, I mean, it means... Well, first of all, obviously, it means a lot to me. I mean, it, I always tell people all the time, like, there's remakes and... Um, you know remasters and in and, and HD whatever <laughs> you know you know the drill coming out all the time and as much as I have nostalgia for a lot of them like I was waiting so so long for a Spyro one because I played so much Spyro when I was a kid um but it, it, Sonic Adventure and 2 if they were to do 2 but keep in mind this video focusing on the first one for now um is uh, uh I tell people all the time, it's the only game that, like, I think if I were to see, like, a trailer, like, it's at E3, or I don't know if it'd be that big, but, um, or, like, they showed it at the Game Awards, or, or wherever, maybe even they just announced it on Twitter, if I see, like, the trailer, and you hear, like, a open your heart, and, like, a remix, or something like that, right, it's probably the only trailer I'd ever watch, and, and actually, like, break down into tears, I'm not kidding, like, <laughs> I know Sonic Adventure, like, doesn't have the best um, reputation now amongst the gaming community. Uh, a lot of people say it hasn't aged well. Um, certain things like, uh, you know, camera is, is bad. It's the worst thing about the game and stuff like that. But for me, I look past all that because I played it so much when I was a kid. Um, I did have it on the Dreamcast. I would have been seven, eight, maybe six-ish. And I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, I was born in 94, so, you know, I had the game the first year it came out, uh, 99, so whatever that is, uh, quick math, you know, it's like six, five, seven years old, somewhere in there, and um, I used to play through 
the entirety uh, or as much of the game as I possibly could. And by the way, the footage you're seeing here right now is um, a speed run I did of, of uh, Sonic Story on our Twitch stream on twitch.tv, Brock O'Clock, whatever, um, recently. So it's not like I, I still to this day play this game, you know, all the time. I always find myself in a situation. Um, I used to like keep tracks of how many times I beat it all the way up until middle school, like Adventure DX, because they kept making it and shit, right? Um, or, or rather, they ported it. I beat it on that 360. Like, I, I remember getting up to like all the Sonic games I'd beaten like 12 times. That was like, you know, Adventure, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Hero, you name it. I had beat it at least more than once or, you know... Um, and Sonic Adventure I, and 1 and 2, I'd probably beaten more than any other game I've ever beaten. I've just, I've played them so much. Sonic means a lot to me. Um, that said, I do see the flaws in a lot of Sonic games and a lot of modern Sonic games. Um, but I digress. That's a conversation for another time, maybe. Um, but yeah, I used to remember, like, I'd you know, my dad wasn't around, so, like, I would go to my grandma's every weekend. She had the Dreamcast there. I, I assume it was his at one point, and um, she didn't have a ton of games. She had, like, the demo disc and, uh, like, a flight simulator <laughs> or something and, and Sonic Adventure. And uh, Sonic Adventure, I used to play the demo, and then I realized she had the whole game and start playing the whole game, and I couldn't get past Emerald Coast. And then every weekend I'd go there and I'd do a little bit more, um... But the thing is, she didn't have a memory card in that Dreamcast. You know, they didn't... My grandma, it wasn't her Dreamcast. She probably bought it for one of either my uncles or my dad or whatever. So she didn't know, like, you know, who, uh... But, you know, what like what a memory card is. She doesn't know Vigi games, right? So, uh... I would have to restart Sonic Adventure every single weekend I went there. And boy, did I play it literally every single weekend that I went there. I mean, for real. Um, and it was just little goals I, for a long time. I, I wanted to play as Knuckles. Like I kept saying, I want to be the red Sonic because my favorite color was red back then. Now it's blue. Um, <laughs> go figure. But, um, yeah, back then I kept saying, I want to unlock like the red Sonic. So I'd play until I got Knuckles. And when I finally got Knuckles, I loved that. And my brother wanted to play the robot because he liked guns and stuff. So, you know, he wanted to unlock Gan Gamma. Anyways, I'm just ranting on stories here. Um. Uh, I struggled, I remember struggling to, when I got to Chaos 7, finally, I couldn't beat him as a kid, and I, I was so upset, <laughs> I was so upset because I didn't have a memory card, and I can't beat him, but I had to go, I had to leave, um, because I had to go back to my mom's, just, um, court order, and, you know, I can only be up with my dad on the weekends or whatever, so my dad's waiting for me, and, uh, he's like, okay, we, we got to go. Like, I know that you were at the end of this game, but I, there's nothing we can do. And I loved it too. Cause I loved the listening to the crush 40 song. I couldn't beat chaos in his second part in chaos seven. And I remember being so frustrated about it that I put the controller down, shed a few tears. My dad said, he'll buy me a memory card. Didn't really need to, because I came back the next week and I just beat the whole thing in one swoop. I mean, this was not like, I did this over a couple weekends. This was like an entire summer or maybe even more until Sonic Adventure 2 came out and then that one took over. Um, I would do things like run around Station Square and, and reenact cutscenes. Like in this area you're watching right here. I remember reenacting the cutscene where like Amy chases Sonic and I used to like in my head I would like role play it. Even though the cutscenes are in the game. Like I just loved this game. I loved this world. It was it was a big childhood memory for me that do, none of those things really make this game positive um necessarily those are all just experiences that i went through nostalgia wise um but so i do understand the flaws with sonic adventure um i even wrote the script of the story because i loved it so much and you know uh that i remember i was at school and i was writing the script to the story um and i had i actually had some kids come and like make fun of me <laughs> And like, uh, not, I don't know if they were really like bullying, bullying, but they were kind of like, oh, Sonic, oh, it's for kids or whatever. You know, it was like middle school, sixth grade, seventh grade, something. And I was writing the whole script and there were some kids that were my friends that were saying like, they're embarrassed because I'm a fan of Sonic. Like, I just never stopped being a fan. 
Um, and when I was a kid, I wanted to be just like him. I would act like him, which is not... <laughs> He's kind of a cocky ass sometimes, so it didn't always... Um, it, whatever, you know. I would play, quote-unquote, play Sonic Adventure at school. But anyways, um, we're going to get to part two, which is, I think, why most people are here. I just felt like I wanted to give some of my thoughts on how I feel about Sonic Adventure, what it means to me, how much it truly means to me. It's it's one of my favorite... Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 are two of my favorite games of all time. And I keep having to reiterate two because just because this video is about isn't about two doesn't mean that that one I don't love just as much. So um, I love both these games, um, but I do see their flaws, and I understand they're not technical masterpieces. Even at the time, well, at the time there was a lot of things that were really good about them, but there were still some things that like okay, they're not as polished as like a Mario sixty four or uh, Ocarina of Time or something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's dive into part two. So hello to those of you who might have skipped part one. Um, like I said, I had just given my thoughts on what Sonic Adventure 1 means to me. I hope I got all that out. I've never made a video on Sonic, not like this at least. So I just thought it was weird that I had not done that. So I wanted to get some of those out. Um, but here we are part two, what the probably the real reason you're here uh, and that most people wanted to see this video and that is uh, Sonic Adventure Remake. Is it going to happen? Uh, do we want it to happen? Should it happen? Um, we know that Takashi Izuka said he would like to do it. If you don't know who that is, uh, one of the heads of Sonic Team. Actually, he might be the head. I, I don't quite remember. Um, I know he's important. I've watched the Sonic stream and stuff like that. But he's basically in charge of a lot of the things that go on with Sonic. Uh, Merchandise-wise or just the games or whatever. Uh, and giving it the okay. Um, when they asked him in an interview about it, he said it was the first high-speed 3D action game that also featured a scenario highlighted with six different stories, the Chao, six unique styles. I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. Uh, it is a unique game offering 20 years after release. Uh, at the time, it was also was, wasn't just a solitary software release. It was a title bringing people to Dreamcast. However, it was the first 3D game that work, we worked on, and looking at it now, I can see the rough edges it has. Me too. <laughs> which really makes me want to remake it again. So I think he's interested in it. I don't know if he really meant by that, like, hey, I, I like actually really want to remake this, or if it's kind of like one of those things where it's like your friend shows you like wrestling, and it was a really good episode of wrestling, like WWE or AEW, whatever you watch, and um, you're like, that was really fun. I, I kind of want to get into this, but then you just never do it. So I don't know if it was like that or if he really meant like, no, like I really want to remake this. I think we can do something special with this. Obviously, I'm hoping it's the latter there. Um, now, uh, why do I think they should remake it? Uh, I do think the demand is high, especially with the, um, this being kind of an era where things from the like 2000s and like later on and maybe the late 90s in Nintendo 64 onwards is seen as the cool nostalgia now like the super nintendo and S uh nes and genesis had their time in the nostalgia collectors gamer spotlight now it's time for ps2 gamecube uh n64 um kind of like that era right people are starting to look for those collect that stuff and that's why we're getting remakes from that era uh spyro crash medieval even though it didn't do very well um things like that i think sonic adventure fits right in to that uh i think it would be if it was done correctly really really uh successful uh i do think that people underestimate how much these games mean to a lot of different people um and it was sonic's real f if we're being like i guess technically not real first four way in the 3d but a full-fledged 3d sonic game not like Sonic 3D Blast or something like that. Um, two, I do think it could use an update. Uh, this game has had a, like the eight, I mean, it, so they had the HD technically update, like the, not a remaster, but port. Uh, it was more of an HD port to like the 360, and I believe it was on the PS3. Um, and it's now backwards compatible with the Xbox One, so that's how I play it usually. Uh, there was DX or whatever, and it's on PC and stuff. But on all those versions, it still doesn't look amazing. 
Now, they look improved from the Dreamcast version, um, although I do kind of like the way some things look in the Dreamcast version uh, as well. So, um, I do think that not just the look could use an update, but the camera is really bad. It's not a good camera. Uh, coming from somebody who was, you know, speed running it right here, uh, one of the worst things about the speed run uh, is that this game is actually pretty consistent. It's not as glitchy as a lot of people make it out to be. It depends on what version you have as well. But um, the camera is, is is what, in order to be good at speed running this game, you have to learn camera control. Like, look what's happening to me right there in that scene. Like, what the fuck was that? I remember doing this during the live stream and I was like, what the fuck was that? I never have issues with this part. And it's because the camera is just wonky. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work well and yada, yada. Um, so much that during a speed run, you have to switch between free camera and auto camera all the time. And the true answer is neither one are really good. It's just that some one is good in different situations better than the other. Uh, another reason I think they should do a uh, remake is uh, it might potentially silence some critics of the series. Now, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, a lot of people have started to say like they're just not good games. Now, I'm sure there were some people who thought that back when they came out, but I do feel like over the years that guys like, um, you know, people for, like the Game Grumps or uh, Pro Jared or whoever... Um, who have given their thoughts and are popular uh, on Sonic Adventure tend to not have a very favorable opinion of that. And I get why they think that, because really Sonic Adventure is not like a technical game, right? It's it's really not like masterful platforming at its finest. Um, that's And that's not even like why I love it, although I do like the platforming in this game, because they're like, well, what about Mario 64 and blah, 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 blah. blah. But if they did remake it, I do think that the success of it does silence some critics. I think that Sonic is kind of in a weird place right now where everybody just thinks he's a joke and that basically we went from Sonic having good games to games that were like, eh, and then Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were mixed and everything after that is quote unquote bad. But then you have like online people who, because he's such a meme, they think that the whole series is a joke, uh, excuse me, a joke. So much to the point that we had IGN a couple years ago, if you remember the couple guys on IGN who were like, Sonic was never good. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. It's ne never. Uh, some of the original the original Sonic games were technical, really good, you know, technically speaking, especially Sonic CD and uh, Sonic 2 and whatever. They're... So um, I think that having more positivity just in the Sonic community in general is a good thing. And uh, one of the most one of the games that is seen as the most positive despite what a lot of more popular online personalities say is Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 once again they're not like technical masterpieces and, and I understand that and you know um, and I and I like a lot of the people who uh, say stuff like that uh, like I like game groups so uh, even though I disagree with some of the opinions you know Aaron has on Sonic um, I love you know them so not knocking them or anybody else who might have said that, but I do think that they would be surprised at maybe be, <laughs> maybe be, maybe uh, at how uh, how much positivity there actually is surrounding these games. It's not as negative as people think it is. Um, uh, next, uh, I think from a, well, I kind of already covered that. Sorry, I'm going over my bullet points here, so this is not like scripted or anything. From a business standpoint, uh, it brings Sonic back into the limelight. The movie actually kind of did that a little bit, um, at least for now. I know a couple of years ago when Sega said, "Oh, we want Sonic to be like a, you know, world-leading icon," or what, you know, that paraphrasing again, uh, or whatever. I was like, "Chad, that's not gonna happen." But wow, the movie did so good. I'm like, "Well, if you made a couple good games after this, you have a chance." But you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for, like, what, um, why I think they should make it. Uh, now, uh, the real meat and bones. Uh, is this gonna happen? I still don't really know. Um, I do think that Sega realizes the value they can get out of Sonic Ad uh, Adventure 1 and 2. And I do think that value is highest right now. 
were people like me who were kids when this game came out um are now about my age like 24 25 ish whatever and we're looking for a lot of those nostalgic games like spyro craft jack and daxter maybe or ratchet and clank stuff like that from that era sonic adventure fits right in and now is the best time for them to capitalize so i think there's actually a really good chance they don't remake sonic games not really like sometimes they'll port they'll remaster ish but we've never had a remake or full-fledged remake or reimagining of anything except for i guess sonic 06 was technically supposed to be but it kind of ended up being its own shitty thing so anyways um so uh what should they do uh, the biggest question is, do we make this a huge graphical update like Spyro um, and basically just keep like the level structure and the world exactly the same? Or do you quote unquote fix things is what I put, um, you know, such as, well, I will tell you one thing they should fix, like the camera, but also should they make things better? So like Speed Highway, like I said, is a really fun level. But once again, none of the levels in this game are like technical masterpieces. If we're talking about like highly artful, uh, if you want to use the word artful, um, but technical game platforming, uh, some of the best platforming in gaming, quote unquote, uh, from me. <laughs> I don't know why I said quote unquote, but uh, Sonic Adventure, that's not really what it's great for, right? Um, so do they make stuff like that better? Uh, do they make Speed Highway better than it was? Or do they keep that the same and make it more of a graphical update like Spyro? I think personally, the answer for me is unless it's like really bad um, or if it's a quality of life issue like the camera. You know, if the controls were bad, I'd say fix the controls, right? Uh, I don't think the controls are bad in this game though. But um, when it comes to like the level structure and stuff, I know that it's not like the greatest. For me personally, I'm kind of on the whole um, keep it the same. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they change it for the record if they do, but hey, we just gotta have a better version of Sonic Adventure, I guess. But I think the people that this is appealing to and these type of games appeal to are people who want to relive that experience but just have it look and feel better and stuff as opposed to just being yeah i know it sounds weird like being a better game yeah they're not looking for a better game a lot of these people know the flaws with sonic adventure but they're going to play it despite those flaws right i don't really know if making the game better necessarily means you're gonna get the new people right um new people will probably not come because they're like oh it's an upgraded version of a game i haven't played before uh no uh you're gonna get the old people either way but the the reaction surrounding the game might actually be more negative if you change it. and i know that sounds weird like make a better game reaction is negative yeah it might actually be because you're catering remember you're catering to nostalgia not to um like people who are like i love really good i mean just i mean i guess like me i like i like really good video games you know um you're not catering to those people you're catering to people who grew up with this game and they'll play it regardless of some of the flaws um or like what we're looking at here for example like this airplane level is boring and stupid <laughs> and uh, when i was a kid i loved it um do i want to play it again no it's one of the worst parts of a speed run as well by the way but should they keep it? Yeah, I think they should keep it. Like, it's just part of the experience. They're trying to keep a similar experience. And plus, I don't know if I trust, uh, in, just just in this case at least, the current Sonic team, uh, with all due respect to them and the way that Sonic games have gone recently, I don't know if I trust them to make a lot of big changes and keep the feel of this game and stuff. I would say, play it. I, I almost hate to say, like, don't make a better game. But at the same, and play it safe, but in this case, I, I actually do feel like maybe play it safe. Hey, if they did make and improve all the levels in Sonic Adventure, and, like, the way that Speed Highway is, like, reimagined in Generations, for, for example, and it's a really fun level, and it's really well done, 
um, then kudos. I, I'm, pr I'm I'd be proud of that too. I'm happy with whichever decision they make there. Um, I already talked about the camera. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's the real meat and potatoes of this remake. Like, you know, what do they do there and and stuff? Uh, uh, now I want to talk about a couple other things. Uh, music. So music is a big part of this game, especially for me with the experience and all that. And uh, music is a big part of really any remake or remaster. They get to keep it. Do they have? It's like in you know, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three, for example. I know that it's copyrighted music, but man, the original game's music is so good. I don't like playing the HD one. Like it doesn't feel right to me, and it's just because of the music. That's literally the only reason. Otherwise, the whole thing's an improvement. Um, music. I'm not saying it makes or breaks the game because at the end of the day, the most important thing with the game is the gameplay. I do believe that firmly. Um, but when you're catering to nostalgia, once again, catering to nostalgia, you want that authentic original experience as much as possible while also presenting it what it would look like in the modern age. That's essentially what this is. What if Sonic Adventure 1 was made today? but at the same time kept it what it was in 99 or whenever it came out. Yeah, it's a little weird, and it's such a fine line, and that's why some people love these and some people don't. It, you're not going to please everybody. But when it comes to the music, I love the music in this game, whether it be, um, you know, Station Square's theme, all the which is like one of the chillest songs in the game, all the way up to, like, Open Your Heart by Crush 40, which, <laughs> I mean... If you didn't have that in the game, then boy, oh boy. But, um, yeah, uh, what I would love, I think the best case scenario for the music is they redo all the music and hear me out <laughs> before you're like, no, um, they redo all the music and they give you the option between the two. Spyro Reignited did that. Uh, Halo, no, Halo MCC did not do that. Halo MCC did uh, did something out, or Halo 1, the remake, and Halo 2 Anniversary. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, they did something else that I would also like, but I doubt it would happen. Um, yeah, back to music. Uh, Spyro Reignited did it. So uh, it's not impossible, and I would like to hear like a new version of Open Your Heart. I know we had the one from Generations and stuff, but, but we don't have new versions of all the others, although they did upload that video on YouTube recently where they did like the remix of Station Square with T. Lopes, which was kind of neat, or whatever. I listened to it just yesterday, actually. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think, like, you know, even just little songs like the Mystic Ruins song, like, they could, they could improve a lot of those songs or just make them, like, different. But, but I think you should also, and this is important, if you do remix the songs, when it comes to these remakes, I do think you need the option to be able to listen to the original soundtrack. I know with Spyro Reignited, a lot of people are like, I don't like the new music. I personally did. I actually liked a lot of it. I don't like all of it better than it. It depends on the level, though. So I think like having the option to switch between the two is, is a really good idea. Now I'm getting really excited just thinking about all this. <laughs> um, uh, another point uh, after music, so we've got... What do we got here? A couple left here. Um, voice actors. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is a tough one for me. Uh, the music is really easy. I, I, like I said, just have the original at least, and if you want to remake the songs, fine. Voice actors. I, as iconic as some of the Sonic Adventure one and two voice actors are, and they're not all the same, if I remember correctly. Um. They're not all very good. At least they weren't back then. Maybe a lot of them have done other projects and improved by then. Um, I don't know. I can't even, to be honest, remember all the voice actors in this game. Um, that's a really tough one. Because it does kind of make the experience a little different when he's got a different voice. But I think you can get used to that. I think, I truly do believe that. For example, Gohan and Dragon Ball Z... Kai, or not Gohan, excuse me, like Frieza. Technically, I have an experience with the original voice actor, um, the one that everybody says sounds like a girl, because it is. Uh, but I got used to the new Frieza, and now I really like him. I like both. Um, I think that 
I think that with Sonic Adventure 1, they should try some different voice actors and not just try to get all the original. With Spyro, I mean, once again, his voice was Tom Kenny. Well, Sonic didn't have Tom Kenny back then. Um, the voice actors were not all great. I appreciate what they did, don't get me wrong. And I do like their voices, the way that every character sounds, but the acting, you know. People don't understand the difference between the voice and the acting part of, you know. Um, I think everybody in this game had fine voices. Even Sonic's voice kind of sounds Sonic-y. It's the actor, the acting part of Sonic I didn't like. It, it's not, you know, it, if there's one thing that hasn't aged well besides the camera in this game, it's it's that. Um, obviously, they should redo the cutscenes as well. Uh, so, you know, but, but that part is a little... Because that doesn't... It didn't help that the cutscenes looked kind of like in game not too great looking uh you know if they did something like a full-fledged like final fantasy 7 looking cgi cutscenes, or even if they just redid the in game ones which obviously caters to something like you know graphics like they'd have to update the graphics which they would obviously you know if <laughs> they wouldn't just not do that um because that's like the main thing about these remakes right is that it looks better but um yeah, once again with voice acting, I, I just that that's a tough one for me. Um, you guys, you guys will have to let me know what you think about that because I don't think the voices in Sonic Adventure One are that great. Uh, they could use the voices from Two. I, I I think the voice actors from Two can hold up enough. Um, then again, they're not too great, and I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. That's a good question. Do you keep that original voice like just? for the sake of the sound or do you find a quote-unquote better actor because like once again with Frieza is it a better better actor yes does he sound totally different yeah he doesn't sound like the original Frieza at all so uh it can be a little off-putting um, personally I'm okay with new voice actors but you guys will have to let me know what you think and let me know what you think about any of these ideas or your thoughts or what you want out of a Sonic Adventure remake um uh, obviously the graphics uh, the only thing I would say about the graphics is it, oh and this is where the halo thing was gonna come into play I, I got lost in my bullet notes for a moment um, much like what they did with the music in Halo 1 uh, much like the, excuse me much like they did with the music in Spyro Reignited in Halo 1 uh, the remake when they did that the combat evolved remake they made it so that you could press a button and it would go back to the original graphics. That would be awesome if they could do that for Sonic Adventure. Now, I'm sure that's a really tough thing to do. That was probably not easy for them. You can do that in Halo 2 Anniversary as well, by the way. And it looks great. It's so cool to see the difference between the two games, how much is improved, yada, yada, yada. And if they could do that with Sonic Adventure 1, that would be fantastic. But... I imagine that's pretty hard. I'm not expecting them to go that far. Uh, they also don't have the budget 343 has, you know, with Microsoft backing it and everything. Um, not that they don't have a budget for a Sonic game, though. But um, that would be really cool. The question on that, though, is if they were to do something like that and they made it so that you could go back to the old graphics, do you make it look like the Dreamcast graphics or the DX graphics? Personally, I would say that you make it look like the Dreamcast graphics and then you tap the button and it looks modern or whatever. Um, but that's just me. I know that a lot of people grew up with the DX version, which I grew up with both. But um, they grew up with the DX version because, you know, that was on GameCube, which is, was a more accessible console than the uh, Dreamcast uh, version. Um, two more things. One, Big and Amy need to be better. I know I said the thing about the whole, like, uh, levels, like, don't change the levels too much, don't change the experience. Once again, one thing that they did in Spyro Reignited, and I keep going back to that because it was such a good job, um, they did such a good job, I should say. Uh, in Spyro Reignited, there was a couple mini-games that they tampered with a little bit and made them better, and it was totally fine. Um... It, I think that the fishing mechanic for Big is a little wonky. I think they could make it a little better, 
maybe even expand his levels just a little bit. I do think him and Amy are the weakest parts of the game. Uh, and Amy is just Sonic, but slow as shit, and it's so boring. Speed her up just a little bit. May, um, you wouldn't even have to extend her levels. I know they're super simple, but the idea behind, like, you know, Amy and Tails is that they're supposed to be really easy to play compared to Sonic. Sonic's supposed to have the quote-unquote harder levels. Um, I do think they should make them a little bit better. And, like, and let me go even as far as to say, like, even as a kid, I didn't like playing as Amy in this game. Um, big, I kind of liked the fishing. Uh, I didn't. I thought it, even as a kid, I thought it was a little wonky. Uh, and you know, when you're a kid and you play a game and you don't understand it, either one, it's too hard, and believe me, this game is not too hard. So it's definitely the latter. It's just not that good. Um, and that's the sad truth about Big and Amy. They're especially Amy because once again, Big's kind of a gimmick. So like, you know, I can kind of forgive the the fishing not being the greatest for a game that's not really supposed to be about fishing, but it is there. So you have to say like you have to criticize it where fair fair is fair. Um, Amy and Big are just not that good. Uh, their gameplay is not that good. Uh, yeah, and then uh, last but not least, the Chow Garden. I do think they should update. Once again, you want that same experience, but I don't think you're changing the Chow Garden experience per se uh, by just streamlining it. What do I mean by streamlining it? Well, just making it better in the sense that I would just say like make it like Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, if you could make like the Chow Garden just like Sonic Adventure 2 and maybe even some improvements from that one, uh, by all means, I would say do that. And it would be actually really a neat idea that I, I literally just thought of this because Sonic Adventure 2's Chow Garden honestly doesn't get a whole lot better there's certainly some improvements you could make more mini games maybe and you know more worlds to explore just some extra content but the core of like what it is and how it works works fine enough if they made a sonic adventure 1 remake i would assume they're gonna go to 2 right after right if they made it so that the chow gardens are shared between the two games that would be awesome if they could do that in some sort of way and it would just really require, uh, well, obviously some technical skills and knowing how to basically have that cross, um, I guess it would be cross chow garden save, right? Um, but the other part to that is uh, all you would really have to do is make Sonic Adventure 1's chow garden like not the chow garden that it is and make it more like Sonic Adventure 2's. Uh, that would be really cool. I don't know if that's possible, but... Uh, or at least, like, the whole cross Chow Garden save. But it is definitely possible that they basically uh, make Sonic Adventure 1's Chow Garden uh, more like 2. So, um, yeah, I think that's uh, really everything I wanted to go over. Uh, I hope these Sonic Adventure remakes come out. Uh, you can stay tuned on my channel, uh, subscribe or comment or whatever. And Yeah, and let me know what you guys think for sure. I want to know what other people think about this. There's not actually a ton of video on this going around right now. I don't expect this to be a big hit because it's not quite relevant right now, but uh, regardless, I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about it. Um, and I do want to know what other fans of the series think, uh, what, you know, Sonic Adventure 1 means to them, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, be sure to subscribe. Watch us on Twitch, uh, the twitch.tv slash Clock. I have links for all that below. Come talk to me in the Discord about it. I'll definitely talk about Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 with you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope to have more videos up soon. They won't all be Sonic if you're here for Sonic content. Uh, I plan on uploading lots of different videos to the YouTube channel. I know this one was long as well. Uh, they won't always uh, be this long. So uh, yeah, hope to uh, see y'all guys, uh, all, excuse me, all you guys uh, next time. Uh, maybe I won't stutter as much or uh as much. I tend to do that. But uh, this was not scripted and most of them will not be. So hopefully this is the start of some more consistency on the channel. And if you stuck around this uh, long, thank you. Uh, you're a trooper. And I hope you have a nice day.